Hello friends, welcome to Thinking Gap. Apa Thinking Gap ini? Adi mana hari ayam macam episode lagi. Nengal ayam ini, saya selamat datang jenno. Inna ta klasen, nama discussi ayam bawa nada. Electronic silo la, CRO ay pati tana. Cathode ray oscilloscope. Ini kelas BTEC arkum, adu boleh dana PSC arkum, mori boleh dana perayaan orang la dana. Adu bende nengal ori karnu syali mii kelas gal missi erida. Nama kadiya samen galenda, nere kelas lagi bawa. Apa inna ta klasen, nama discussi ayam bawa nada. Ori important ay terula topik ana, that is Cathode Ray Oscilloscope CRO An oscilloscope is a type of electronic test instrument that graphically displays varying signal voltages usually as a two-dimensional port of one or more signal as a function of the waveform can then be analyzed for properties such as first one amplitude amplitude second one frequency frequency rise time third one rise time and the fourth one is time interval time interval and fifth one distortion distortion etc these are all about cathode ray oscilloscope and oscilloscope is a type of electronic test instrument that graphically display varying signal voltages usually as a two dimensional port the waveform can then be analyzed as the properties such as amplitude, frequency, rise time, time interval and distortion etc. So this is the picture of a CRO. The front panel is typically divided into four sections. First one the display. Display means which is a cathode ray tube. Second one vertical controls which controls the height of the displayed signal. Volt per division sector knob is found in this section. Volts per division sector knob is found in this section. That is vertical controls. And the third one is horizontal controls. Which controls the time base or sweep of the instrument. Seconds per division sector switch is a part of this section. So in horizontal control, seconds per division selector switch is a part of this section and the fourth one is trigger control which controls the start event of the sweep it is also supplied with a probe that converts to any input on the instrument the probe typically has a resistance of 10 times the oscilloscope's input impedance which results in attenuation that helps to isolate the Capacitive load which result in attenuation that helps to isolate the capacitive load. We are going to discussing about the working of CRT that is cathode ray tube. This is the diagram of CRT. The important parts are pins, base, heater, cathode, grid, pre-accelerating focusing anode, accelerating anode, horizontal deflection plate, vertical deflection plate, accorder coating, phosphorus screen, horizontal deflection plate and electron gun. So, we can go to the working of CRT. The working of CRT depends on the movement of electron beams. The working of CRT depends on the movement of electron beams. The electron gun, the electron gun, the electron gun is the source of electron beams. The electron gun has a heater, cathode, grid, pre-accelerating, focusing anode and accelerating anode. The electron gun has a heater, pre-accelerating node, cathode, grid, focusing anode accelerating anode the electrons are emitted from the cathode and passes through the grid the electrons are emitted from the cathode and passes through the control grid the beam is focused by focusing anode the beam is 
focused by focusing anode it is accelerated at high voltage it is accelerated at high voltage the beam passes through the pairs of electrostatic deflection plates the beam passes through the pairs of electrostatic deflection plate the vertical deflection plate the vertical deflection plate moves the beam upward and downward the horizontal deflection plates moves the beam from one side to another the horizontal deflection plate moves from the moves the beam from one side to another hence the electron beam can be positioned anywhere on a screen hence the electron beam can be posi positioned anywhere on the screen the front of crt is called face plate the front of crt is called face plate the internal surface of face plate is coated with a phosphor coated with a phosphor which converts the electrical energy into light energy and it is called fluorescence fluorescence so the internal surface of face plate is coated with the phosphor which convert the electrical energy into light energy and it is called a fluorescence and it is called a fluorescence next aqua dag is a graphite coating on the inner side of crt aqua dog is a graphite coating on the inner side of crt side walls for collecting secondary electrons so that the crt does not get heated up due to their collisions so aqua dot aqua dog is a graphite coating on the inner side of the crt side walls for collecting secondary electrons so that the crt does not get heated up due to their collision next the working part of a crt are enclosed in a vacuum glass envelope so that the emitted electron can easily move from one end to the tube of the other the working parts of crt are enclosed in a vacuum glass envelope so that the emitted electron can easily move from one end of the tube to another next we are going to discussing about lissajous pattern ലിസാജസ് പാറ്റേൺ വളരെ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു ടോപ്പിക്കാണ് അത് ബി ടെക് വിദ്യാർത്ഥികൾക്ക് അവരുടെ വൈവയ്ക്കും അതുപോലെ തന്നെ കേരള പി എസ് സിയുടെ ഇതിനും അതിൻ്റെ ഫേസ് ഡയഗ്രാം തന്നിട്ട് അതിൻ്റെ ഫേസ് ഇത് എത്രയാണെന്നുള്ളത് കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാനായിട്ട് ചോദിക്കും അതുകൊണ്ട് ഒരിക്കലും സ്കിപ്പ് ചെയ്യാതെ ഈ പോർഷൻ നിങ്ങൾ നന്നായിട്ട് പഠിച്ചിട്ട് വേണം പി എസ് സി എക്സാംസിന് പോകാനായിട്ട് നമുക്ക് നേരെ ആ ക്ലാസ്സിലേക്ക് പോകാം ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ഡിസ്കസിങ് അബൌട്ട് ലിസാജസ് കർ ലിസാജസ് കർ an important functionality of cro is the xy node that can be used for signal analysis by feeding a reference signal into one axis and the and the signal to be measured into the other axis it results in a complex looping pattern referred to as lissajous curve it results in a complex looping pattern that is referred to as lissajous curve the slope of the curve can be interpreted to identify the properties of the measured signal in reference to the reference signal the shape of the curve can be interpreted to identify the properties of the measured signal in reference to the reference signal so let us look at a pattern of lissajous signal and their inference next we are going to discussing about lissajous pattern and their inference the first disagis pattern is like this and the inference is the signals are in phase the signals are in phase and the second one is like this the phase difference is 45 degree next disagis pattern is this and their inference is the phase difference is equal to 45 degree and the third one is like this the inference is out of phase phase difference is equal to 90 degree out of phase phase difference is equal to 90 degree so in this one the phase difference is equal to 135 degree the shape is like this phase difference is equal to 135 degree and the fifth one is the shape is like this and the phase difference is equal to 180 degree and uh, you can write like this y2 y1 x1 x2 phase difference phi is equal to sin inverse x1 by x2 is equal to sin inverse y1 divided by y2 phase difference phi is equal to sin inverse x1 divided by x2 is equal to sin inverse y1 divided by y2 so next is the ratio frequency is equal to fy divided by fx 
f y means number of intersections with horizontal line divided by f x number of intersection with the vertical line number of intersection with horizontal line divided by number of intersection with the vertical line for example consider this diagram so f y divided by f x f y means number of intersection with the horizontal line so horizontal line 4 divided by number of intersection with the vertical line f x 2 so the answer is equal to so, we will be able to do class in the CRA. We will be able to do a class in the CRA. We will be able to do a class in the CRA. Please like, share and subscribe.